Hello everyone, in peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I do hear you, go ahead. Oh, I hear you actually, but you did not hear me first time, go ahead. You are a Muslim, oh, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I changed my... You are a Muslim, yes, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, what do you like to say to us, go ahead. Yes. I'm just watching your videos all this time, and all the time you're spreading lies about Islam. Lies. Mm, like what? A Gog and Magog? Lies. Is Gog and Magog a lie? All the time lying. You know, Quran is most perfect book ever. Okay, tell me about you Gog. Know the Bible. No problem. Tell me about Bible. Bible was written 300, 300 years after Jesus, even mm. when they said he died. Okay. What proof do you have? Where is the first Bible? Where is the second Bible? Where is the third Bible? Where is the fourth Bible? Hmm. We don't even have a full copy before four or five hundred years after hmm. Jesus died. Well, let us, so how can you say let, Quran let, is not preserved? Let us go Quran is not. Okay, do you have a full copy of the whole Quran before the, fir the, fir the first four centuries? Do you have a full copy? Do but we're not... Do you have a full copy? You see, I'm going with you now. Do you have a full copy dated to before the fourth century? It doesn't matter if we have full but you just copy. Said to we me, never need no, no, to preserve but, it. But no, you just say it. But, we, we, but you we, just say it. But you just said, hold on. You just said, hold on. You just said, look how evocate you, you are. Look, look how evocate you are. You just said to me, we don't have a full copy of the whole Bible before the, the, the fourth century. You said that. And but but you are the one who believe that you have the same issue. If this is an issue for you, that's when you should not believe in Islam. Secondly, Muhammad he came six hundred years after Jesus, after the Bible is written. What is the proof of Muhammad that he knew what is in the Bible? If all the Bible is corrupt, the mic is yours. No, we never say the Bible is corrupt. We say you don't have the real Bible. So, so the Bible could be somewhere. The Bible could be somewhere in the Middle East. So, you just haven't found so it. So it's not correct. So you made okay, a, okay, so on, you, ma on. you made up a different copy. All right, hold you on. made up a different copy and then spread it all around the world all right. to give to to give to the Christian people. All right. The original copy could be there. Original copy could be even at the time of okay. Muhammad, but the, you hid it. Hid it from everyone. The Bible, you the, rewrote okay, it. Okay, so but you don't have the copy. I mean, no, how, no, but nobody, tell me one thing. How my, many Christians? Friend, how many friend, Christians friend, have friend. read Bible let, let that talk. comes in Greek let, let us or talk. Let Aramaic? Us, let, let us talk. How many? How many Muslims they speak Arabic? It's Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. That means there is what eighty-five percent of Muslims are not Muslims no more. Doesn't matter because but we listen to people. A second, a second ago, language. but a second ago no, you said, have... a second ago you said, if we don't speak Aramaic, how, you said, how many people speak Aramaic? How many people speak Greek? How many speak Hebrew? And now you are saying doesn't matter. You see, I don't know. Are you are you, are you mature adult? Or okay, are you okay, okay. How, how no, many? Let, how many? Let us, let us one point six billion. Let us, people. Let us be logical. Fifteen percent is a lot. Fifteen okay. percent is okay. how many million? Okay, let us. Be, how many hundred? Doesn't million doesn't matter. Percent. And we have how many we have millions of people who speak Greek. We have millions of people who speak. Aramaic. We have millions of people who speak Hebrew. Stay. We have. Yeah, you so, go. You go. Few million, maybe, it, maybe five million, ten matter. million. As speak long Greek. As, as long people they speak, people they speak. Now the question is, do you understand the Quran, which is written in Arabic? Do you understand it yourself? I don't understand it myself, but I so look at you translations. Are, so you are proud about what? You are proud to be a Muslim about religion, and you said to me the Quran is perfect, but you don't, you cannot understand the Quran. How the Quran is perfect, yet you cannot understand it. Because we can trust our scholars. You cannot trust your okay, scholars. Okay, as long as you trust your scholars. Look, look at what they are doing. Long, look at as, what they are doing. As, the church okay, is doing as in long, every country. As long, you trust, and uh, as, as long you trust your scholars, is the ant a Muslim? Of course. Look, even the Quran tells you that only Allah can understand the true meaning of the Quran. But the very well-versed people, the knowledgeable people, they will understand as well parts of it. That's a false interpretation. So that's how the Quran my, works. My, my friend, you are, we, in, we, yeah, we you are only, ignorant. You are, ig you are ignorant and the verse doesn't say that while you are lying. The verse says, only Allah knows what the Quran means. And the one who are in, have knowledge, they say we believe. They don't understand. The one who have knowledge is the of one course, who say. Because we believe. He, okay, he so, shows but, us but, the. Way. But you just said. But you just way. lied. But you just lied, and you say that the scholars they knew when the Quran says only Allah knows, and those who have knowledge they say we believe. So in order to have a knowledge in Islam, it's just you have to believe. What kind of religion is religion? How you can be a scholar if just by saying I believe?
how that make you a scholar and what kind of book only Allah knows what it's mean don't you think this is so what? okay 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 let's say let's say Bible obviously Bible is more clearly written mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a newer creation it's it's created for the masses it's created to lie to the masses but obviously you're gonna but, put lots of but isn't it, in it, but isn't it the Quran lots of, but lots of nice things in it oh, nice on, story okay, make okay, it hold on 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 yeah you Muslim you okay, say you Muslim you say and even Yasser Qadi he said that the earliest Bible is exist is goes back to the 60 years after Christ the earliest Quran you Muslims have goes back to 400 years after Muhammad. The earliest recitation you have is coming from Hafs, and Hafs, according to Muslims, is a fraud. So where is your Quran? The Quran says, "Inna alina jamuhu wa Quranuhu." Allah He says, "I am going to collect the Quran and I will recite the Quran." Did Allah collect the Quran? Yes. Where isn't it Uthman? He collect the Quran and he burned the other Quran. So it doesn't matter what man does to the Quran because no, it doesn't matter. It, it, does, it does matter. It doesn't matter. Isn't it the Quran? It doesn't says, matter whether no. they burn it, whether they sink it in the Nile. It doesn't matter. Why, it doesn't why, matter why, what the Egyptian government does. I thought you. Saudi I thought you. 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 I thought if, why, why, if he, why he maybe that's Allah's way of why maybe that's it? Allah's way of preserving it. I don't know. I don't you, know how Allah thinks. Allah, uh, why Uthman is a messenger of Allah? Well, he doesn't need to be, but Allah can take control of anyone at any point. He his power, his okay. power is endless. But, but, if he wants to use Quran, one, of the, but my friend, if he my, wants to use the people my friend, my to friend, fix the Quran, my friend, himself, my, he my will. friend, my friend, the Quran says if, Allah, if Allah, he wants, Allah, Allah will hold on, hold on. Listen, if, listen. Are you saying to Allah me? Decided, are you saying to me that Allah is Uthman because the Quran says Allah will collect the Quran, not Uthman? Yes, but Allah can take control of any human being at any time. He can he can do everything with a human being. Yeah, but Allah He says I will I will collect the book, not Uthman. Yeah, but He doesn't say how. He doesn't say he, how. It's still say, Allah. Look, it's still it's no. It's, so Uthman is Allah. So I mean, so me now, if I have my own Quran, then I am Allah too. It's Allah who made me do it. I mean, this is a joke. Where is Muhammad then? So what Muhammad doing? Where is the book of Muhammad? Look, let me tell you one thing. Hmm. If Allah decides to preserve the Quran, it doesn't matter how. This could be any method he can use. Even even the Egyptian, when the Egyptian government was fixing the Quran, hmm. how do you know that's the Egyptian government? That's probably Allah using the people hmm. to pick the right recitation. <clears throat> so how much? 95% of the world use half? Okay, let me let me yes. ask. Let's, so let's, that means almost everyone, almost everyone, almost right. everyone apart from few apart from few all regions. Right use half so that means Allah has managed to preserve the copy he wanted to preserve how he preserved no half is not really the copy he preserved this is the copy uh, 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 printed by the oil of Saudi Arabia before that nobody used half recitation yeah, how, how do you know how do you know that's we not know Allah's be way of because before it was most popular like warish other re reading of the Quran it's not it's not half but because this is what was more popular in Saudi Arabia and the government of Saudi Arabia is the one who published this it is published same time let me ask you do Allah allow people to write the books by their hands? He can do everything he wants. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Don't tell me. Stop saying to me he can do everything. And this is another question. Do Allah allow well, you? It, it, it is the question. It is no, the question. Listen, because listen, you're saying no, there listen, is something he listen, cannot do. Listen carefully. He cannot allow. This is not the question. I'm asking you. Are you allowed as a Muslim to write the book by your hand? The book of Allah. Look, if I grab an empty Musaf and I start writing, Allah will correct my hand. So I cannot make mistakes. Really? Mistake. Really? Uh -huh. are, you yes. sure? are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, well, I am, I'm going now to play for you a video. And this video have a recitation of the Quran. And you just said you don't know Arabic. So how you can correct it? How Allah can correct it? How Allah can correct you? You don't know even Arabic. I don't need to know it. If if Allah takes control of my hand when I'm writing, He will uh -huh. fix it, isn't it? Okay. Did Allah? It's as simple as that. Did Allah take control of Muhammad writing? He took control of what he was saying, isn't it? 
Okay, that's wonderful. So the one who took control of Muhammad of what he is saying is Allah. So when Muhammad he bowed down and he recite the satanic verses, was Allah in control or Shaitan? No, no, but he fixed it. He, Allah was not in control of Muhammad all the time. Obviously, he, ah, he only needed to take control when he was ah, reciting verses. Okay, so that's mean Allah and Muhammad, they are, sorry, Shaitan and Allah controlling Muhammad and you agreed. Yes, but okay. look, look, look at the stories. No, oh, no, hold oh, on, hold on. Let, okay. let me finish let, this let point. Me, let you me started ask you. a very good point, okay. brother. Let me ask you. You started a very good Muhammad, point. Muhammad, hold on. Muhammad, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no, I, I, I want to finish this one. I just, you just say the very important thing. That's why I want to. You will have time. Don't worry. We are just having a nice conversation. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, okay. thank you for calling me. By the way, you are a nice guy. So listen. So as long as you agree that Muhammad is controlled by Allah and Shaitan, but Muhammad received his command from who? From Shaitan or from Allah? from well look he received commands from both yeah but uh -huh. Allah being the more powerful uh, listen <coughs> Allah being more powerful he fixed the uh -huh. rest isn't it uh -huh. Sa same as Jesus when Jesus was tempted by when Jesus was tempted by the devil yeah. God helped him no uh, resist that isn't no. it that's part no. of the but it's no. even in the Bible no. today no no that's not true the devil he could not you see when it says tempt he try but he did not tempt him he did not okay. fail so how do you know he did not take control of Jesus if you the, guys the, if the, you guys can correct you can you can you can go okay don't, don't play games now you can I can say the same to you you can correct any time and look look at me I have a hate in front of me it says you're a prophet he said that shaitan he command him to do good what do you say about that it's in the front of you on the screen. Hold on, let me go through that. <clears throat> there is none among you whom is not an attaché from. So Jin Day said, Allah Messenger with you too. Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah helps me against him, and so I am safe from his hands. He does not command me, but for good. Hmm. What do you think? Shaitan, he command Muhammad, good command. The, the devil. Obviously, Shaitan he did not command him of because Allah fixed it. The, no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. If you read the story, saying, Allah my, fixed my friend, it. My, what's your name? What's your name? No, no, no. What's your if, name? What's if your, the what's, satanic what's, verses, what's your the name? satanic what's, verses what's were your, not correct. What's your name? What's your name? If the I don't want to review my name, it's but so if me, the give satanic give, verses give me a name. Give me a name to call you by whatever your name. Just give me a name. Give me a name. Call me any anything you would like. Muhammad. Uh, I okay. know you Muhammad. love okay. to use Abdul. Okay, listen. Look at this, Muhammad. No, no, I'm not going time. to call you Abdul. You know, you look like you are more educated than normal Abdul. And now, okay. uh, yeah, you know, you are very educated. I can't tell. My friend, you don't even know how to read. It says he command me, but to do good. So not Allah fix it. Like the shaitan is do, commanding him still. Muhammad describing the command of shaitan as a good command. So why you are saying Allah he fixed it? What's wrong with you? Don't you know how to read? Did Muhammad say what you are saying or you are fabricating things? He said, so, but but he does not command me, but for good. So Muhammad saying that shaitan is a good person and he obey his command and his command is good. Muhammad here is admitting that Shaitan. No, no, no. Look what it says. Look what it says. But he does not command me, mm -hmm. but for good. So anything that's bad, he cannot command him because Allah helps him. Okay, but if it's anything good comes out of it, if anything good comes out of it. Okay, so Shaitan, he, he, Shaitan, he give only good command to Muhammad. Like what? Give me an example. How Shaitan, he's, how we not call, only, how not we, only. How we can, hold on. How, he call, how you call him devil? And yet he gave good command. Explain to me. I want to learn from this about you, about, you know, about Islam. Go ahead. He's the devil. The devil he do give good, good command since when? Does he have to? Is there anywhere where it's, where it's specified that he does only bad things? Yeah, well, the shit. And, and, the, and, and the, you know, you well, know, the, hold, hold on, the, hold on. You know, lots of lots of good things, lots of good things can come from something bad, isn't it? No, that's not true. Not according to Islam, shaitan is shaitan. Isn't it the Quran says that shaitan, he wants to mislead you, the shaitan, he wants to deceive you, the shaitan, he will take you to hell. So now suddenly the shaitan, he's a good guy. Oh, the I'm Quran. not saying he's good, but look, but look, but look, he does not command me, yeah. but for good. So anything good. Okay. He might be Allah might allow it to go through the gaps, but if anything bad, Allah does not allow it. Okay, that's wonderful. I don't know but how you, you're but, reading the but, verse. But you agree that uh, Shaitan he gave him 
satanic verses and Muhammad he recite them so how Allah allow it to go through so that he can then show his power by uh, abrogating them but or, uh, uh, you, that's if, me that's if, me okay if guys Muhammad didn't know uh, my friend, if my friend, Muhammad hold, didn't know hold on, hold on, and Allah didn't interfere he would never know he revealed them but he knew he revealed them and it got fixed isn't it how and that's fixed? showing can that you tell Allah me can you tell me can, can, can you tell me the story how Allah fixed those verses what happened Muhammad don't know Muhammad recite the verses and then yes and then Gabriel and, came okay. and told him this right. is not from this is not it didn't come from me so why are you reciting it so that's Muhammad wonderful. didn't know that's wonderful like, hold on, hold on, hold on. guys listen carefully our friend here he said that Muhammad recites Shaitan Quran from Quran from Shaitan Muhammad did not notice that this is not from Allah then Jibreel later come to his house and he told him this is not from Allah do, do we agree about what we said is what you say? Yes. Okay. But, no but, Allah, but, yes. but so how you must they say nobody can make Quran like Allah? Here we go, Muhammad. He received Quran from Shaitan and he himself the Prophet. Who can be better examine the Quran more than Muhammad himself? If I recite Quran now and you recite Quran, and then Muhammad in front of us, or we bring a Sheikh, which one you choose? Muhammad, right? He's a prophet, correct? Which one will judge which one yes. is Quran? Okay. So Muhammad now here he feel he received Quran from the devil. And yet he did not figure out that this is not from Allah. Even the verses saying bow down to the to, to the to the daughters of Allah. So how he did not notice why he was drunk? But look, Muhammad was never a perfect person. He was not Jesus. Friend, Jesus was not about, perfect. Not even, okay, hold on, guys. Did, but you, Muhammad did, was, did you did you just Muhammad say was a mortal man? Did you just say that Jesus is perfect? Of course, the Quran the Quran says he was he was the most righteous of all of them. Okay, so Muhammad was never no, 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 the no, no, most no, no. He, he's not righteous. righteous. You said you them. said you said perfect. Muhammad is not perfect. You said that Jesus is perfect. Yes, that's correct. He, okay, he wonderful. was a man. If there is yes. if there is any man is perfect. No, of course not. And I'm not saying he was perfect. You just he doesn't that. need to be perfect to, to do God's work. But you just was say, Moses but, perfect? But you just no. But you just was say, Abraham perfect? But you just, no. but you just say that he is perfect. You, everybody heard you. You said that. Of course. Okay. Even Allah says he made Jesus. Okay. He was the most so, righteous of so, all of them. He was so the most you, perfect. So when you say, him. so when you say he's perfect, he's perfect. There's no, no, there's no so so. Either perfect or not perfect. So Muhammad is not perfect. Jesus is perfect. Wonderful. Muhammad receives satanic yes. verses, and that you are saying because he is not perfect, he did not notice that he was praying to the daughters of the devil, and because he's not perfect, he bowed down to them. And because he's not perfect, he still went home and did not notice. And because he's not perfect, still he need the angel to come and tell him. And because he's not perfect, Allah after that he need to fix the Quran. Hold on. If we go now in the Quran to the chapter we are talking about, the chapter of Satanic verses, chapter twenty-two, you will see here it says that Allah is going to take off what Shaitan he throw. Do you agree with this? Allah will take yes. it off. Okay. How we knew that this verse itself is from Allah, not from Shaitan? If Shaitan was able to throw Quran already in Muhammad, and Muhammad did not notice. How we knew that this verse itself is not from Shaitan saying, don't worry Muhammad, I will give you more. Don't worry about Shaitan giving you things. I, I am Allah, I will take it away. How we knew that this verse is not from Shaitan because already we agreed that Muhammad received from Shaitan and he don't notice. So Shaitan, he can do it again and again and again and again. If he was able to do no, it once. But you are, you Look, you you are, you're doing mental gymnastics at the moment because you're saying, "Oh, how do we know the whole Quran was not the devil's work?" Well, it wasn't because we know this. How? Oh. And we know exactly where Shaitan involved because where? Allah wanted us to know where. Where? where? What Shaitan? What, 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 what Shaitan? Okay, what Shaitan he want? Tell me what is what Shaitan he do? What Shaitan he do? How he try? How well, he try? He tried to intervene. He, he managed to get a few words in, hmm. and then uh, Gabriel came and fixed it. No, no. What, what, what was when Shaitan intervened with a human being in general? What he what he tried to do? Like what he do? I mean, what he promised you? How he can tempt you? What he do? Well, he 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 always tries to take them off the righteous path. Okay, was Muhammad a righteous man? He tries to be. Okay, was Muhammad a righteous man when he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her in her house when she is married? 
did he flirt though? Does anyone say he flirted with her or does it say that she mm. liked him, thus mm. she wanted to marry him? No, it says that he said to her, Subhanallah, mu'allifu al Praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. And he said that loudly so she can hear it. Is that a good man? He go to the All house. Right, show me, show me the hadith. Let's go. Let's show me the hadith. Let's read it carefully. All right. Let us see. This is chapter uh, Al Ahzab, verse number thirty-seven, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. All right. I am putting it for you on the screen, and then you will see. That when he went to the to his uh, his son, he found Zainab standing and she was wearing very sexy clothes. It says here, read carefully. You don't know Arabic, but I will give you the link. You can you can use Google Translation. It says here, or you can give it to any Muslim who speak Arabic. So so he went to Zaid seeking him, and then he found Zainab standing, and she was white and big and beautiful. And she is from the most perfect women of Christ. So, so he's so beautiful, you know, okay? Fahawiha. So he fell in love with her. He fell in love with married women. And then he said, وقال, Subhanallah muqallibul qulub. Fasami'ad Zainab bit tasbiha fadakaratha li Zayd. So Zainab, she said what she, uh, she heard what he said and she told her husband, Fafatina Zayd. And then Zayd is, uh, oh, here we go. So now he knew that he, she's sleeping with him. So, so he went to Muhammad. He said, "Ya Rasulullah, please let me let me divorce her. She is proud. She is uh, she have a bad tongue. She hurt me with her tongue." And then Muhammad, look how hypocrite! A second ago he was in the house of the man flirting with the wife, and now he's saying to him, "No, no, no! Keep your wife for you, man. Keep your wife for you. It's in her front of you." And this is what? Read. This is your Islamic tafsir, tafsir al qurtubi and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I will post the link in the chat. You can click and you can use Google Translation to translate. What kind of a prophet he go and do such a thing? This is the man you trust him with the Quran. This is the man you trust him with the ethic. This is the one you trust whatever he says to you is from God. And he is the good guy. He's not perfect, no problem. But here we go. I mean, this is very bad. First of all, he adopted this son. Imagine. Imagine he changed the adoption just because he want to have the girl. He changed the adoption. He adopted the man for years, and suddenly, just because he he saw this woman, he want her. He canceled the adoption law. He forbid people from adopting, and he he right away the man he he noticed says here for fighting a Zaid. So Zaid he noticed, but what's happening? Obviously, she is cheating with him. You see here the story doesn't say that they're sleeping together, but obviously they are working together in the same direction. And you are the one who just said to me, no, she like him and she want to marry him. You said that, so she is not a good woman. A good woman who is married to a man and they are not even in seeking divorce. She wants to marry other man and he is his father. And then we find that Muhammad, he go to the house flirting with the wife when the husband is away. Be honest with me. If your father come to your house and he flirt with your wife and he said to her, my heart to flip for you. What you would do with your father? Be honest. Okay. First of all, he was an adopted son, so he's doesn't no matter. Blood Even this is more ugly because second, because you give the second you, of all, you give you give a, you, when you adopt a son, and that's mean you give a word of honor. You just say that Muhammad have no honor. You just say that okay. because if I can adopt, we not agree? Can we not hold on? Can we not agree that God, if He wills, He can use horrible men. So with, ba with bad flaws so to you, do his will. So you are saying, and, and he always has. So you are saying, Muhammad, has, Moses was not perfect. So you are saying, uh, Muhammad all of is the a previous prophets were not perfect. <clears throat> so you are saying to me, Muhammad was a bad man. Well, he was the man for the job in the Middle East at that time. He was okay. the man for the job, apparently. Okay, he is maybe the man he has for a strong the job. enough will. And what he is might, the and, he and might what, have had, and what, have had and what, what is the job? What is the job of Muhammad? Look what the interpretation is saying. And if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her immediately. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't God give a little bit of an incentive to his prophet so oh, that he will a, get the job oh, done? Oh, the incentive of the prophet is to give you women who they are married to other men just because you like them. This is incentive. This is bonus. Bonus to Muhammad. Aha. Uh-huh. I mean, what kind of logic this logic is? So if I go now to your house and I see your wife and I am a prophet, it's bonus for me. It's not your right to complain. This is not against Allah teaching. This is not against ethic. No, it's an incentive, incentive to the prophet. Uh, Why the incentive? Was it, was it against Allah's teaching? Huh? What? Was it against Allah's teaching? Don't you, you Muslim says the Quran says Allah, he said to you, when you go to visit somebody, put your head down, don't let you look at the women. Don't, uh, you know, uh, this is against Allah's teaching supposedly. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then what did he say? That if any woman looks at him, she, uh, he can marry her. What woman so like obviously her? He, he, he is the I, one flirting with her. I mean, she is married. What's wrong with you? <laughs> she is married. You go to the house of the man. No, you have no, no honor. You have no honor if you go to a house of somebody. And you, especially you. Would I do it personally? I wouldn't do it personally. Why? Would I allow this to be done? Probably not. Why? Why? But, why you but if he was the man, why you will not do it? Hold on. If he was the man for the job, why? if he was why? strong, why you will not do convey it? the message of no, 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 no. his wait. people wait. at that time. Wait, my friend. Why you will not do it? Are you saying you are better than Muhammad? I'm not saying I'm better than Muhammad. You All I'm saying is that I would not do some things that he would do. So simple as it is. We're all why, different. Why? We're no, not, no, if no, I could no, be, no, 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 no. You, you just said I will not be same. I could be same. Isn't it? We are okay. all the but same. Isn't it you, Muslim? You follow the Sunnah as the Prophet he did. You follow his step in whatever he did. Here we go, Muhammad. You go to the house of people, flirt with the wife. So you can do it. This is Sunnah. Well, I can't do it. You can do it, right? So this is Islam. Islam. Well, I can give a try, certainly, but but I would I, I doubt God would now approve of me because I'm not doing His work. Why, why you are why you are not approved? You just said we follow Muhammad steps. He is the best man to follow. Look, you have to understand that that time in the Middle East was a very violent and hard My time. My friend, what does have to do with so the, what what what, 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 what does have to do prophet. what does have to do with violent now? The man, he is his son. They are not in war. He go to the house. The, wasn't, okay, and what all kind, I'm saying and what kind of God and what kind of what kind of God he says? Desire. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see. You Muslims, you jump from a place to a place to a place, and it's English. So you agree that Muhammad is a bad person. That's a that's a wonderful news. I want to ask. I don't you. agree he's a bad person. I agree he has a humanly needs, hmm. and they might be different than your humanly needs. So if I, but so he's now, got his own. I, so now I have a human being needs. So if I see a woman and rape her, I say I have a human needs, right? Is that okay, right? Well, obviously not, because that's forbidden. No, it's not forbidden. Where it says it's forbidden for Islam to rape. Show me the verse in the Quran. Okay, hold on. I will give you 10 years. Actually, I will show you where it says you can rape. I will give you 20 years, not only. You, know, you can search Google from now until the coming century. I no, never. no, there is a verse. I just no, forgot which verse it is no, that shows no, which no, women no, no. are permitted. No, 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 take your which time. Which women are no, no, permitted no, no, to no, you? No, 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 I will wait for you. I will wait for you. Here we go. Search Google. I will give you 10,000 years. Show, show me the verse about rape. Go ahead. I want to learn from you. Google is very fast, my friend. Search verse about rape in the Quran. All right. Quran 424. And, and also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. This is a decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property. Hmm. That's no rape. This is the verse. Actually. How is that rape? This is the verse. I have it in the screen ready for you to show you the rape because it says forbidden for you married women except, except. So you can rape women who they are married. Do you know how to read? It says, no, no, okay, let's, it's, let's, okay. it says, forbid it for you, mar- women already married, except, <laughs> except who? Except married women. Who they are, your right hand possess. Except those whom your right hand possess. Exactly. Okay. But, how, many women does your, how many women does your right hand possess? How many women does my in, hand in possess? The None. Of, in the time of Muhammad, he have hundreds. This is not the topic now. You see, you are playing, you are, are you a kid? 
Are you a man or adult or a kid? So when the Quran but, says, when the Quran says you can rape those who their right hand possess, it's mean you can do it today. You have them or not, because now you are weak. You cannot go and conquer and rape women as before. But if you can, you will. So the Quran saying you can rape women who they are married. And you said to me, you will show me a verse against rape when this is the same verse says you can rape them. We well, looked because the Quran has built a better world, and that's Allah's plan for us. This is better world. Uh, how, we don't no, how this, no longer how, possess any women. How this is better world? No, you you do. This is an order for you, but now you cannot do it because you are weak. If the Muslims are the most powerful country in the world, you will do it. Not long time ago. If we are all you know, the most powerful, there would be peace all around the world. Exactly. Because we would all follow the Exactly. Thing. Peace. Everybody will be killed. The women, they will be raped like ISIS, right? Peace. You know, by the way, do, uh, I, I don't know. You speak about peace. You say if we have a peace. Isn't it the Quran forbid you from having peace? Well, if the whole world is Muslim, obviously we will have peace. Ah, women. so you will keep killing until nobody left, not a Muslim, and then you will have peace, correct? Yeah, but why do we need to kill if we can just convince people? We can just convince no, people that no, this is the truth. You, no, you said you, you just said if all the world become Muslim, then we need to not to kill, my friend. And nobody's convinced. People are loving Islam. And let, let me ask you: we, we just mentioned a second ago about Muhammad having sex and Muhammad going after women. Is that Muhammad or Allah making Muhammad having sex with women illegal way? Who is the one who made us do adultery? Is it Shaitan or Allah? Why would we do adultery? If he, I, he didn't sleep with them before he I, was I'm married. I'm asking to you. Them. No, no, hold on. No, he did. He did it with Mary the Copt. He did with Sophia. He did with Mary. He can count for you endless numbers. No, I'm asking you. Look, who you, is can, the you can find many fake hadiths. No, not fake hadiths. We know about the hadiths that fake Christians hadith, not fake and they sleep with Abdul, 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 listen, listen. If, if you want to talk to me, okay. either, either you speak with, with, with your brain is open. Or don't call me because uh, when you say fake hadith, you have to prove it. So are you challenging me now to show you a hadith which nobody can prove that it's fake? Is that a challenge? You cannot do that. I will show you from Al Bukhari. We show you from Sahih Muslim. So stop playing this game. I'm asking you now a question. When a person do adultery, who is the one who make him do adultery? Allah or Shaitan? Shaitan. Thank you very much, guys. Did you hear him? Shaitan. The hadith says that Allah is the one who make you adultery, and you just admitted that shaitan is Allah. Read for me, and this is a very sahih hadith. It says here, you read it, you know, your English is better than mine. Go ahead. Okay, put it on the screen. It's a little bit off screen, please. It is in the screen. All right, thank you very much. Go read, I want to hear it. Hadith is like Verily, Allah has mm -hmm. the very portion of adultery yeah. which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is mm -hmm. the lustful look and the adultery of the tongue is the uh, licentious speech, the hard desires and yearns which the parts may or may not put into effect. Okay, so what do you understand from that? I'm listening, go ahead. That men need to feel the necessity to do bad things, no, but Allah has fixed it. What fix? What fix it? No, it says. You see, I don't know. Like, are you playing dumb now? Are you playing like you don't know uh, English no more? It says, verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. Who is the one who fixed the very portion of adultery, which a man he will indulge in? Who is the one who decide to you how much adultery you will do? Give me the name. Who is the one? Who decide how much adultery you will do? No, but obviously Shaitan is not fixing adultery. This He's is making people do this it. This is not the question. You see, don't play. You know, I don't have time for kids talk. I'm not a kid. I don't know how old are you. Um, be honest with me. Does it say Allah is the one who fixed the very portion of adultery? Which means, who is the one who decide how much adultery I do, you do, he do, she do? Does it say it is Allah who decide how much adultery we do for each one of us? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, but a second ago you said to me, Shaitan do that. So Allah is Shaitan. Because the one who made me do adultery is not Shaitan. It's Allah. When I asked you who is the one who make you do that, you said Shaitan without hesitation. Okay, 
Now we find out that this is not from shaitan. Shaitan is a good guy. He's a victim. Shaitan never do that. Allah is the real shaitan in Islam. He is the one who made you do adultery. And he is the one who make you to do it as a must. You don't even have a choice to do or not. <sighs> so you admitted that shaitan is Allah and Allah whoa, whoa, is shaitan. Which, which, which hadith is that? Can you show me if it's, if it's Sahih? Here we go. Sahih, it's Muslim. Sahih Muslim. 5657 five, six, five, B. And I will post the link for you in the chat. So you can open it from your side and you can check it out. We don't make things up, my friend. Allah is shaitan. There's no question. He is the one who make you do bad things. And then he blames shaitan for the bad things you do, which in the fact it's Allah. He decide for you to do those things. I advise you to leave Islam, my friend. You are worshipping Satan. So how do we know? Because me personally, I've always had problems with the hadiths. Well, the personally well, the Quran, the, the Muslims do my friend the Quran is not better the Quran is the, is very evil too I mean the Quran is very stupid my friend you, you see the problem is that you, yes but the, but the hadith were written two three hundred years later so the, how the can Quran is the same the Quran, the Quran, the Quran is the same my friend the Quran is the same the Quran is the same and by the way we don't even have the books of the hadith I mean Islam is a joke we don't have the original books of the Quran we don't have even anything have to do with Uthman we don't have anything. This is Sahih Muslim. We don't have the book of Sahih Muslim. You believe it? We don't have the book of Sahih Bukhari. I mean, this is a joke. Islam is a joke. You have nothing. You see, when the Christian they say, so which, when which, it, wh which book, which full book of the Bible do you have? We have books where the one is written in leather and the one is written in in the in the Egyptian papers. Those are exist, but they are dissolved by time. But we have a shred of them. So we have thousands and thousands of shred. All of them in total agreement with the yeah, Bible but, today. But. My friend, my friend, listen, listen. There is a reason. Those 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 paper books, even if you don't touch them, if you put them in the drawer, after a long time, they will be demolished by themselves. First, because they are made by normal people who they are just making papers. It's paper made from... from uh, I you know, do understand yeah. that, but so the question the, is... The one who is exists, if we, know we have... If no, we no, have small pieces, no, same, same time. How we, do you know the later people no, who have, didn't just change all we, the we, words we, around them? We have, we have. Let me tell you why. First of all, we have many copies of the Bible in different languages. Many. As an exa example, in Ethiopia. As an example, the Egyptian. As an example, even in India. Most the, the earliest Christians, they went all over the world. At the same time, we have art preserved the story of the Bible, which go back to the time of Jesus, when Christians, they were going under, under the ground, and they were doing mosaic and art to preserve the crucifixion of Jesus, the verses in the Greek language or in Hebrew. And to now we found them go back all the time to the time of Jesus. In the same time, the, the, you know, when, when, we, when we question the Quran, I don't care really if it's preserved or not. The Quran is a stupid book. You see, I just told them before, I don't know if you were listening, I said, I don't want the Muslim to believe the Quran not preserved because this is not for my benefit. If the Quran is preserved and it's a stupid book, that's for my benefit. That's it. The Quran is preserved. So you have no excuse to say, oh, somebody play with it. So when the Quran said the sun set in murky water, do you have an excuse? You, you say the Hadith, I don't trust the Hadith much. But what about the Quran? Before you call me, you heard me saw, speaking about Gog and Magog. Who in the world want to believe such a story? This is Quran. This is not Hadith. And you keep saying to me the Quran preserved. How in the world you in the year 2020, I don't know what is your education, believe that there is a man, his name is Dhul-Qurnayn. He got his first horn because he went to his people to make them to believe in Islam. They hit him in the hammer, in his head. He got the first horn and he died. Allah raised him back and he sent him back to his people. Then they hit him again with the hammer in his head. So he got two horns. <laughs> And then the story continue, and then he keep you know Allah he gave him a power, and then he occupied most of the earth, and he found where the sun set, and he found it sitting in murky water. The Muslim they try to solve this problem. They say, oh, Zulqarnain he he thought 
Brother, don't you see the sun go in the water? My friend, it's even, it says a spring. Even the hadith, Muhammad, he said, confirming that the sun goes in water, which is hot and muddy. You know, here we go. This is the hadith, and this hadith is good. It's even sahih in chain. Narrated Abu, Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar, which means the father of the ants. He said, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger who was riding a donkey. While the son was sitting, he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, It's set in a spring of warm water. Hamia. Do you see it? And this is in total agreement yes. with the Quran. Total agreement with the Quran. So the Quran preserved. For me, I'm laughing. Okay, it's preserved. <laughs> so, what we will do now? This is against you, actually, not against me, because you see, if I if I am a person who believe, if I'm speaking to someone who believe the Quran not preserved, he can say, oh, somebody put it there. There's no way this is from Allah. But because you believe now it's preserved word by word, then you cannot play games. You cannot say the hadith. I don't agree with it. This is Quran. And then the guy he keep continue walking. And then he went and look, it says until he when he reached the sitting place of the sun, the, the sitting place of the sun, yeah, he reached it. And then he found it sitting in a spring of a bloody <laughs> You are laughing at <laughs> ah, you got me here to be honest. It's a, it's a difficult book to defend, yeah, but maybe I need more knowledge. My Maybe friend, I mean, the, the knowledge in the front the of you, I'm helping you. I mean, you see, I'm, everything I'm saying to you, it's in the front of you on the screen. This is your Muslim translation. This is your Quran. You are my witness. It's not my website. I have nothing to do with it. How this can be from God? <clears throat> if I am you, I will leave. The, this, this is, you know, my friend, you're, you're smarter than this. This is not even for good for kids. This is not good for cartoon. And then he go, and then what? Uh, you know, he, he found it in the muddy water and then he continued and then he changed his direction and he followed another, another way in verse number 89. And then he, until when he came to the rising place of the sun, what is that? The sun rises everywhere. You don't need to go anywhere. Just stay home. <laughs> I mean, this is a joke. And then he found it rising on people who whom we, Allah, had provided no shelter. Huh? This is supposed in Africa, you know, they, they have, you know, they are naked. And then, you know, we give him all the mean to whatever to do. And then he followed another way. And then, brother, he found people, uh, you know, like they are stupid. And they told him to build a dam between him, between them and people of Gog and Magog. <laughs> what do you think about Gog and Magog story? <laughs> do you like cartoon? Remember, the Quran is preserved. You are the one who said that to me. This is the preserved story of Allah. Okay, so if if if, if it's not preserved, what what do we do? What do I do? No, it's not. The Bible is not. No, 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 my friend, 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 my friend. This is a joke to say that the Christian they did not preserve the Bible. Why they want to do that? I mean, somebody believe from his heart in God. I will not say the Muslim would do that. I will not say the Hindu would do that. This is stupid even claim. I mean, a guy is a Hindu. Why you want to change his book? This is stupid. I mean, this is not even, this is the most stupid thing. A person who is a believer, he will not do that. And if a Christian, he agreed to do that. You see, you mentioned to me that the Christian, they have a, a conference to meet to discuss heretic, right? So here we go. They stand yeah, but even, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even here, the Jews don't agree here, with the Here we go. Here we go. So what? So what? No, 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 no. The Jews agree. The 12 disciples of Jesus, they were Jews, my friend. They were not Hindus. They were not Arab. They were not the Christians. They were Jews. So you are wrong. So the first one who believed in Jesus was the Jews, not nothing, no, no one else. We learn about Jesus from so the Jews. why don't Jews today believe in Jesus? Who said the majority of them are already Christians? They, what, what, what is left of the Jews is not even 20 millions. After 2,000 years, there's only 20 millions. What happened? Simply because the majority became Christians. What is left is the minority, not the majority. So No, but there were more, obviously. <coughs> Hitler killed a lot of them. Other people killed a lot of them. No, no. It, uh, everybody, it, 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 no problem. I mean, a lot of people die from the Jews, yes. But in the same time, the majority already are Christians. Same time, my friend. 
there, it's not logical to say to anyone. It's not logical for me even to say to a Muslim, you are playing with your book, because if he is a believer, he will not do that. No, nobody will do that. It doesn't matter what religion is. A person, he's a Hindu, he have a scriptures, he believe it's holy. Why you want to do that? This is a stupid argument. So don't go there. This is in the front of us. No, but maybe maybe the Roman Empire needed a book My friend, they cannot, they cannot, they cannot, because not all the Christians under the Roman Empire. Christians are spread all over. Ethiopian is not under the Roman Empire, uh, you know. And then uh, the Roman Empire, they shrink, and they, 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 the, the Roman Empire die. It not exist no more. So why people want to do that? And uh, nobody was able to hide one copy. I mean, this is a joke. All languages. You know, we believe even in the in the books of, of Tafsir, it says that the disciple of Jesus, when Jesus told them to go and preach and teach, they said to him, well, how we will uh, teach? We don't speak the less languages. So Allah, according to the Muslim interpretation, he, when they wake up in the morning, each one of them, he found himself speaking different language. So if the Greek book corrupt, okay, what about the Ethiopian book? What about the Coptic book? What about the Indian book? What about the Persian book? Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't have many my, of my those. Friend, my friend, my, my friend, you, you are running away from what is in the front of you. This is the whole thing. You just admitted that this is a stupid, correct? You admitted this is stupid. Or maybe we don't understand it the way it's meant to be. No, my understood. friend, it's no, it's in the front of you. Don't they want to play a game? It's up to you. You know, it's about you, not about me, my friend. I don't care if you want to say whatever you want to say. But this is. Not, not. We don't understand. It's very simple. Gog and Magog. He built a dam between us and them. And then your prophet he described that those they try to go out of the bridge, out of the of the dam. And then uh, uh, he woke up in the morning. He found. He said, "Today there is people who, uh, the people of Gog and Magog, they were able to, to like this in the in the in the wall. Uh, we to Allah the, to the Arab for, for today a little tiny hole open. So." This is it's, it's explained already. It's explained. It's not it's not a choice to say, oh maybe we don't understand it because Muhammad he mentioned it even in the hadith, and those hadith are accurate, sahih. So what we will do with it? Read it. Abu Huraira said, Allah Apostle, uh, you know, uh, uh, he said uh, today. Today, the wall barrier between uh, for Gog and Magog has been open so much. And he was terrified and he was saying the Arab, oh, are we to the Arab, you know, you, what's coming to you? All those hadith are Sahih. See, Sahih al-Bukhari. He woke up in the morning, his his face is red, he's terrified. He was saying, La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. And then they said to him, what's happening? He said, the great evil happened. Today, today, a gap has been opened. And he made a, a, like a, a, a space between his hand about how big it is. Of people of Gog and Magog. And those are 1,000 to 1, which means if we are 7 billions, the Gog and Magog, they are 7 trillions. So where are they? Where is this dam? And who in the world would believe yeah. in such a story? He built a dam. They can go around the dam. I mean, the earth. But that's like asking where, where is the Garden of Eden? No, no, no. Because those are people in Earth. They are in the Earth. Those are not in the so sky. So where was Garden of Eden according to the Bible? It was on huh? Earth. It wasn't in space. What? Where was the Garden of Eden? It was on Earth. Yes. According to the Bible, yes, but in, he wasn't floating. In yes, space. and we know, we know, we know the location in the in the in the in the in the, in the north of Iraq. So, but in the, in the the Garden of Eden in uh, in Islam, it is in heaven. What does it have to do with this, my friend? It's a garden. It's a, it's not when we say heaven. When it come to Adam and Eve, it's a garden. It's just a place. Uh, God providing with everything. It's not really heaven as heaven as we you imagine now, like the seventy version, etc. But here, notice with me. That Muhammad he explained to you, he have tons of stories about Gog and Magog, and all of them they are authentic hadith, in total agreement with the Quran. How you today and you said you just agreed that this is stupid, this is not right, you got me here. This is what you said. How you want to stay as a Muslim with this? What is this? All of those stories. Look how many. 
Maybe I need to ask my scholars about more information. Well, your scholars, they cannot say to you anything except what I'm showing you on the screen. This is your scholar talking. Or do you think I'm giving you, is, is your scholar is better than Al-Bukhari? <laughs> you know? What are your scholars? If there is a scholars in Islam, they will be calling me, my friend. They don't dare. Did you ask yourself, what is the scholars? Why they don't call me? We just have an Arab. I don't know if you heard him. He ran away. He ran away. Literally, I just asked him. He said to me, this hadith is fabricated. I said, Bro, prove it. Go ahead. He ran away. So what about the prof the prophecy of Muhammad in the Bible? He's prophesized well, by yeah. Jesus. My, 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 friend, my, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I mean, you Muslims are really crazy. In, a second ago, you are saying to me it's corrupted. The book is corrupted. And now you find him in the Bible. So if, if the Bible is corrupted, that means the prophecy is corrupted. Secondly, all those are, you call them prophecy, are not true. Actually, the opposite. It says like, you know, I mean, it is really stupid. Uh, uh, did, you, did you even read what uh, the Muslim they said to you? Go and check the verses yourself. Read a few verses before, a few verses after. You will die laughing. One, one of the, the videos in YouTube, it's very popular. They say it's in uh, Muhammad is in Isaiah. When the, when the verse is speaking about God, they made, they made Muhammad God. <laughs> the verse says the Lord. The guy, he cut it and he started reading after. Why? Because in a second, people will notice that this is speaking about God. They lie to you. You know, you mentioned to me that Muhammad is a prophet, right? And Muhammad, he received his knowledge from who? From Allah, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you, uh, what, uh, what is your education? Like, do you, are you, did you finish school, university, anything? University. All right, that's wonderful. So I'm talking to an educated person. That's wonderful. How the baby is created. Have you ever heard of someone who claimed to be God? And then he say this, that the sperm became a congealed dead blood. Which God is that? He says such a thing. And then the Muslim, they make videos saying this is scientific. And they start fabricating the translation and the meaning. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Congealed blood, the sperm, will became a congealed blood. This is God. And then the clot, we made it into a lump. And then we, we, made, we made out of the lump a bones and cloth. And the bones, which means at the end we have bones, bones, just bones, there's nothing. And then we close the bones. So the start is stupid, the end is even more funny. And look at the translation. You said you do not know Arabic, right? Yeah, but that's not meant to be a scientific book. No, it's meant Just because no, 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 no. You see, when you speak in such details, that is not metaphorical no more. He's telling you stages by stage by stage. This is not just metaphorical. I can say, I agree. You know, we can say that, uh, like in the Bible, it says yeah, you, if, you, if, you, you, you made me in such a way. My friend, terms we use today. My friend, my no friend. one back then would understand it, isn't it? Yeah, that at that time people they, they they take it because they didn't know what he's talking about. Simply, this is not. If he says, it. "Oh, we're gonna create this embryo and we're gonna make this and this and this," my no friend, one's gonna understand. But, but it's still this is but right it's but it's still he don't have to be stupid, right? I mean, he can say how he created, and then we will be amazed now when we discover it. But what, he don't be stupid. He don't say we made the sperm and took a congealed blood. Or what about chapter 80, 86, uh, 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 where it says that women have a sperm and coming from her ribs, and the man have a sperm is coming from his backbone? I mean, what kind of God he say that? Women don't have a sperm. And the sperm of the man is not coming from the backbone. You can go right now and check in Nikathir, he will say to you that this is meaning the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women, the, the water of the women, which is yellow, as Muhammad described it, coming in from the location of the necklace. That's what the word Torah means. It's a word used for women, ribs, specific location of the ribs, the top one. So how this can be God? So look, the sun set in murky water. He found where the sun set. He found where the sun rise. He found where next to it, he, he built the Gog and Magog. Uh, a story of the cave people, which is funny and stupid. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a fiction story written by a Christian priest in Syria for the Christian youth. It's fiction. 
all the Christians they knew that. So they, you know, he took it, he put it in the Quran. When a, when a Jewish man he came to Muhammad and he said to him, uh, uh, "What is uh, what is the signs of the hour?" Do you know the story? No, not this one. He, he asked him. He said to him, "I want to ask you a question, which nobody know the answer for it except a prophet of God." This is the hadith. This is Sahih Bukhari, so nobody can say it's weak. So he said to him, "There's certain things I'm going to ask him about things." He said, I'm going to ask him about three things which only a prophet can know the answer or can answer it. Wonderful. I mean, look how, how the story is stupid from the beginning. The guy, he knew the answer and he is saying only a prophet knew the answer. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid? This is your prophet saying that. This is a story coming from your prophet. I come to you and I say to you, I'm going to ask you a question. Only prophet knew the correct answer, but I know the correct answer, so I must be prophet too. So it's a stupid cult, man. It's a, it's a, it is just a madness, a stupidity. It's a low IQ. And then he continued. He said to him, "And look at the questions. I mean, look at this very hard exam. What is the first food which people of paradise will eat? Like what?" This is the question which nobody knows except prophet. What does, why does the child attract the severity of his father or to his mother? Then the prophet re re replied, said, Gabriel, Jibreel, just inform me now. Look, what? So Muhammad, now he cannot claim that he is getting something stupid. Jibreel from Allah, inform me that, etc. He said, and then Ibn Salam, he said to him, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Since when Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews? <laughs> anyway, so then he says, uh, as the first sign of the hour, it will be the fire will collect people from the east to the west. Okay, where it says in the Quran, this fire will collect them from the east and the west. As for the first meal, the people of paradise will eat will be the, the, the loop of the fish liver. Why? Because people will go to have sex. The Arab, they believe that the, the whale, the whale, not the fish, the whale uh, uh, liver is very good for sex. You know, they, they have, they take from it, al-ambar. Al you can check it out. As the, the, the ambar is even, you know, the, the deer, he have the same same uh, hormone, which is used to attract female. So Muhammad, he, the, the Arab, they learn that those things, they attract females. So they think they can attract female, but this is what's for the deer. Anyway, as for the child, if a man discharge proceed in the women, discharge the child attract the samaritan to the man. Look at this stupid. He just said, if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If you have orgasm, uh, uh, the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. What does this have to do with this? According to which science? And remember, he said, Jibreel told me. So we cannot say Muhammad is making, I mean, uh, somebody fool him. Uh, he was just, as you said, he is just a human. He just said, Jibreel told me. So either Jibreel told him or he's a liar. Maybe he lied. Maybe he's li he lied. Uh, you're right. Obviously, he's lied. He lied because this is absolutely false. So you ju you just left you just left Islam, my friend. You just left Islam right now. I'm happy for you. You decide to use your brain, and you are out. The second you use your brain, you are out of Islam, and now you are out of Islam. I'm really happy for you. I'm so glad you called me today, so we can share the truth with you. It's obvious this man is. So what, what, what do I do with this? Okay, let's say Islam is false. What, what do I do with this? Well, you know, now you have to think. I mean, okay, Islam is false. I can invite you to believe in <laughs> Jesus if you want. But you, first, you have to clear yourself from all the dirt of the, and the garbage of Muhammad. With my respect to you, you see, if we have a computer, have a virus, we cannot install a new clean software without formatting the virus. You have to clean yourself from the garbage of Muhammad. You have to believe in the Holy God. The Holy God is what Jesus He brought to us. The Holy God is what Jesus taught us. If a man he look at a woman and he wished to have a recommitted adultery, not you know God He made you do adultery. 
Okay, so if people like me all my life about this, they never show me this, how can I trust anyone else? Even Don't, I, how do I know I, this? Did I, did thing I, did, my friend, my friend, did, my friend, did I say to you, trust me? Did I say to you? No, you are a man, you are a dog, you went to school, you have a degree, you speak languages, you have a computer, do your research, study very well, and search holiness. The one, you know, once a, a big shake he came to my father. And he said to him, uh, you know, you are a great man, a great family, you are very well known. Why you don't uh, I invite you to accept Islam? You know, the Sheikh saying that to my dad. So my dad, he said to him nicely, he didn't want to be really polite with him because he's in our house and he is a friend of him. He said to him, well, yeah, Sheikh, where is Muhammad now? He said he's dead. He said to him, where is Jesus now? He said he's in heaven. He said, well, I will follow the one in heaven. So ask yourself a very simple question. Which one do you want to follow? The one who, as you mentioned, you said he is perfect. The one who is right now in heaven. The one who never commits sin. The one, ever, the one who taught holiness and he was holy. You see, I can say to you, be good. Don't do that and do that. But I could, I do sin. I do sin. I, I have to admit, I do sin. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not even close to, to claim to be anything good about me you know only god is good so when we speak about jesus a different story jesus he challenged the jews who can of you prove me to be a sinner who can who dare i cannot i cannot say that to you because if i say that to you i will be a hypocrite i am a sinner so when we speak about the messiah we speak about holiness jesus he said to us if you want to go to my heaven let's go how to pray he said pray like this and then he said forgive to us the same we forgive to others and then you will notice that Jesus in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. So imagine if Jesus, he said, forgive them, and yet he don't want to forgive. Even in the cross, when people are calling him names, killing him literally, I mean, crucifying, how, 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 how ugly, how evil, how much pain, yet he is saying, Father, forgive them they don't know what they are doing so when jesus says to us forgive he was a truthful he did it even when he is dying in the cross and death for him means nothing i have, I have no problem with jesus being the best the most righteous the, not a single sin and everything and that he was peaceful he never raised a hand or did anything wrong but where how can he claim to be god though that, that that's the biggest problem how can he claim well, even if you're the most perfect prophet of god you're still giving the message of god isn't it you, friend, you don't claim for yourself my friend, the god the even message, when the, you do miracles and yeah. do everything okay you see you know i i when we ask a muslim how why allah chose muhammad they say allah we don't ask him what why he chose right now why Jesus he claimed to be God well if he is if he is a claiming to be God then he should not be able to do what God can do I can claim to be God too you can claim to be God talk is cheap I can go right down the street and I say hey I'm God uh, okay people they will they will ask me do you know the guy from India he claimed to be the Messiah Ahmad Mirza Ghulam the Ahmadiyya guy hello mm. you remember him hello yeah you remember Ahmad Mirza uh. Ghulam do you remember Ahmad no. Mirza Ghulam? Yeah, this guy anyway, you can search him. He claimed to be the Messiah. He claimed to be the Messiah. Okay. And then second day, people, they come to his house and they have people in the wheelchair. People, they are blind. People, they cannot see. People, they are sick. And they said to him, okay, you are the Messiah. Do what the Messiah do. What the Messiah does. He made the blind see. He, he healed the leper. He made the one who cannot walk. Yes. walk. Okay. So when Jesus, he make a claim. It is a claim until he prove it is true. And he did. He did what nobody can do. Resurrecting people from death, making the blind see. I mean, he ordered, he ordered the nature. One word of him, it's a must. So there is difference between somebody claim, Muhammad claimed to be a prophet, and he will go, you agree he's a liar. I can claim to be a prophet, you can claim. It's a good business, by the way. These days, I mean, uh, this is the best business ever in history, always. Anyone want to make money, he can make himself a prophet. He will find some fools and they will give him his money and that's it. He will live like a king. And then he will start sleeping with the women. Jesus never asked for money. 
Jesus never have a woman. Jesus never even own a donkey. Jesus never own a house. Jesus never have a, a, a palace. I mean, imagine you are in a, in a now and before nothing changed. If I can raise people from death, how many kings they will worship me and they will be under my command? I will be their boss forever because they will die. They knew it's coming. They have a person who will make them alive again. So he did not abuse the power. He was not seeking power for he is the true God in this earth. So when we question how this has happened, will God, because the Bible says, for God, he loved the world. This is why he came to us. Not because he need to, but because he loved to. There's a huge difference. God did not create me because he need me. He don't need me. He want to share his glory with us. He wanted us to be happy. He want, This is why in Christianity we have different form of speaking to God. We call him Father. We don't say, yes, he is God, but imagine our relationship is not about God. It's about children and their father. This is how much loving he is. And the Quran says, I created not a human or genie except to worship me. The Bible teaches different, totally the opposite direction. This is why you speak to the Father and you pray to the Father because He is your Father. He is your God, yes, but He is not an evil one. He He loves you. So when when I when I speak about Jesus, I, I try to find the intention of this person. His name is Jesus. What he want from me? What he want? Did he want something from me? No. Did he ask for something? No. Did he ask for the fifth of the booty like Muhammad? No. Did he ask women, hey, will give yourself to me? No. He asked you to be holy. He asked you to be loving. He said, love your enemy. I mean, everything he said is for the benefit of mankind. Nobody can question that. Love your enemy. I mean, imagine, my friend, if all mankind, they practice one sentence of Jesus, which is love your enemy. Guess what? We will have no war. We will have no thieves. We will have no criminals. We will have no death. We will have no people crying because people love each other. Just one sentence of Christ's teaching is the solution for mankind. Not the book. You see, just sentence is better than all the books in the world, all the book of wisdom. So Jesus did not That's fail. True. Jesus did not fail, my friend. We fail. We fail to love each other. We fail to be good to each other. In the Quran, go attack them, go kill them, go take their money, go etc. And then somebody will say to you, oh, and you know, like in the Old Testament, there's war. You know, we have to understand that those people, they are under attack too. The Jewish, they were trying to survive. But Jesus, he want us to take us to the, to higher level. Everything was to prepare for the coming of Jesus to the point where he can say, love your enemy. And still after 2000 years, people don't want to listen. People full of hate. Christians are not being Christians. Jewish are not being Jewish. Muslims killing each other. You know, uh, war everywhere. And corona, crazy stuff. Even even people want to use. They want to use people just even when they are dying from corona. People they want to hack corona. Want to it in the market. I mean, even death is a business in the world today. So with the Messiah, we have a new life. And I invite you, my friend. You are a smart person. I invite you to the best I have. His name is the Messiah. I invite you to accept him as your Lord, as your Savior. And it's up to you. I will. You will. Do you accept the Messiah as your Savior? Yes. I mean to that. Hallelujah. A happiness today in the kingdom of God. We have our friends. Did you hear it, people? Praise the Lord. We have a child of God, he came back home. Don't think that Jesus is the winner. You are the winner. Don't think Christian Prince, he won a debate. I did not. You are the winner. I lost from my time, my friend, and you are the winner. I spend my night with you, but you are the winner. It's not me. And it's not the Messiah, it's you. I'm so happy for you. I say, and I pray that the Lord will bless you, bless your family. And if you need me to talk to them, I will be so happy to talk to them and I will speak to them. I will promise you, I will speak to them very politely, your parents, anyone you want. I will be happy. You can contact me anytime and I will be happy uh, uh, to talk to them. 
and today you are a new person today you need to forget about all bad things you learn from Muhammad all bad things you learn from this madness you are a child of God my friend you are a loving person you are a new person do you have a copy Thank of the you. do you have a copy of the Bible yes all right well I advise you to start like start reading from the book of John and I want you to read you know let me tell you about how I read and maybe I'm not telling you how to read by the way I'm, I'm saying to you how uh, uh, like let us take it from <laughs> from a brother of you you know like uh, how, how I do things let us say all right I'm not going to teach you how to read but when you, when you read the Bible don't treat it as a story live the story so you can imagine it imagine that Jesus is speaking imagine people they are around imagine people they are asking imagine Jesus is answering and then you can live the story and then you can observe it better and you will find how amazing Christ teaching is read ask learn and the more you read the more you will notice that you are learning more which mean the same chapter if I go right now to John chapter 1 after all those years how many times I did read it if I start reading now and I sit alone I will find something in you the Lord will inspire me the Lord will open my eyes so I pray the Lord will open your eyes and he will inspire you and he will teach you not me no man can teach only God and this is why we are listening to the word of the Lord and he is the only teacher he's the only master we have it's not Peter who teach us it's not Paul who teach us as Muslim they say to you we are following Jesus we don't follow any man the rest are just disciples and you can be one of them you can be disciple of the Lord and bring as many Muslims as you can and the Lord will be so happy to have you I, I will show them what you showed me contact me if they want to talk to me if they don't want to go live no problem we can go on private but if they want to go live even better and I promise you I will speak to your family in a very respectful way even though it's no, very my, my family is Christian your family is a Christian so what happened I guess I lost my way well you are back my friend I'm so happy for you your family are saved and today you are saved go to your mom go 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 tell your mom hey I became a Christian I'm back I'm back home let her cry and give you a hug I'm sure she thank you for showing me all this I'm so happy for you my friend do you want to say anything to people around you people are happy for you look how my look how people are happy for you yeah I'm, I'm, I'm watching the chat thank you and God bless you all right my friend God bless you and God bless your mother and your father and your family and we pray for them all of them and I'm happy that today your new year is different the family in your year is different now you have a Christmas next next year next year you will be the first to say to your mother Merry Christmas mom praise the Lord thank you Praise the Lord. Thank you for calling. Take care. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, brother. Good night. <sighs> My throat is hurting me. I told you I don't feel good when I go live, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And I'm sure his mother, she will be very happy to hear that he is, he is back to Christ and he is saved and he is out of the devil house. Pray for him that the Lord will keep him strong and will, will uh, protect him and protect his family. And we pray that the Lord, he will bring more people using him to Christ. I apologize guys I cannot really stay long my reading my throat is really hurting badly I wasn't going to go live today I told you from the beginning I will, I'm not going to stay long I hardly can talk each time I open my mouth it's really hurting I think I have a bad uh, uh, throat infection maybe uh, <clears throat> I want to say uh, you do your best you don't know what you know you, you don't know what you would accomplish you know this this uh, this brother he called us he was angry from me he was upset from me he was etc but you never know 
You never know. This is why the Lord He chose fishermen. You know, He He told us to be fisher, to go and fish. And our fishing is different. It is to save, not to kill. It is to secure, not to harm. So. Uh, I'm glad that he called us today and I, I pray that every day we will have more Muslims to call they call us as Muslims they hang up as a Christians and this is not the first time happen we have thousands of Muslims who left Islam watching our videos some they left on air sometime in private because they don't want to speak about it sometime even I don't know about them and they say to me in the chat so we are happy for everybody and uh, uh, until we see you if I am okay tomorrow I will go live uh, subscribe join us you can follow us in patreon too if you care and enter we see you soon again i say may the lord bless you protect you and keep you safe and this is your brother christian prince wish you the best and don't forget again to pray for our friend we do not know his name pray for him who doesn't matter who is he we pray that he will be a light in his house and for people around Thank you and God bless you. Take care.